they're saying that it's ideally okay for 375 watts tops, which is, you know, what the 4090 and the 5090, they pull past that. And the 5080, especially the custom models, are basically right at that mark. They straight up state that any card using the connector with a power draw higher than 375 watts should just be avoided. Another video I did want to highlight was a video from Jay's Two Cents, and you know this was a pretty eye-opening discovery by Jay because he also shows that how different cables from different manufacturers have inconsistent pin depth. So Corsair was one of the worst offenders from them all. He was showing how the connector, or he was showing it under a microscope, and you can see how in some of the angles, it looks like a few of the pins are just straight up missing, but they're not. It's just because they're recessed so much more compared to the others. And, you know, even though the connector itself may be fully seated, it's causing inconsistent current between the two pins because of the lack of contact. He also shows a fast gear cable in that video, which showed pretty good consistency, way, way better than the Corsair one. And that's shameful, shameful because, you know, Corsair, look how big they are. And for what it's worth, I've been using a fast gear adapter for my own 4090 for over two years now. And knock on wood, it's been pretty solid.